infertility in general, 50% is female factors and 50% is male factors. When it comes to in the lab, we always say IVF can be therapeutic, but it also can be diagnostic. We often can see where the problem is happening. So if I am putting a sperm inside an egg, so this is called ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where someone in the lab is picking a good looking sperm and injecting it. Oh, a good looking sperm. I really, <laughs> it sounds like my friends and I got together one night and we're like, where's the good looking sperm? We actually challenge them. There's a little sperm obstacle course, how I like to describe it, it's called Zymot, where the sperm have to swim through it. The sperm Olympics. Exactly, so you have the good looking Olympians are who we are choosing to win. But if the embryologist is directly inserting the sperm, egg quality, the eggs, metabolic health determines those first three days because the male genome doesn't kick in until day three and beyond. But when I see somebody who their embryos developed and they just stop at that day three of development, we now know there's a male factor at play and that the DNA inside that sperm is not as stable as it could be. 